Hello you wonderful, wonderful lot. It's Gran here with another episode of Zawa Together. Now then, I am super excited to get started on today's exhibit. It's the Flamingo exhibit and it takes centre stage in my birdhouse because it's the first thing you see when you go in. So, I'm just texturing the floor of the pond at the moment, so I needed some coarse dirt and I've got that and I've also picked up some rainbow eucalyptus logs as well and that's just going to be for a tree that i'm going to put at the back but it's not going to be a typical rainbow eucalyptus tree but you'll see anyway so coarse dirt is where i was at so let me dig a few more holes and put a, a few more in and let's spread them about a bit and the rest of my texturing will be the same as usual i think there we go yeah, that'll do for the coarse dirt, I think. Right, I think we'll have uh, peat, a bit of peat, a bit of spruce mulch, and a bit of podzol. Yeah, I don't think I want anything else in here, I think. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that'll do. A bit of spruce mulch. Yeah, that's looking good, I think. Let's see. Oh, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit bland over here. Let's put another one over here. There we go. Uh, any more? And some podzol. I haven't got so much of this actually. I'm gonna have to get some more. Uh, oh, I've got some dacite podzol. I'll put that in. That'll do. Nobody's gonna be able to see it. Nice. There we go. Okay, I think that's all right. So, now at the back there, I'm going to, it feels like the back because we've come through the zoo this way. We could have another back there, but they'd go straight up to the stairs because I'm putting some stairs down here. So, I'm going to say this is the back. In fact, I might end up looking at all this, all this bottom bit today because I think it would look odd just having the flamingo exhibit done and not the outside here. Okay, let's see how far we get then. I'm going to have a go at this tree first anyway. So, it's not going to be a typical tree. I just want a sort of a really, really thick trunk uh, with a sort of a, a willowy look to the leaves, which is not your typical rainbow eucalyptus tree, is it? But there we go. That's what I want. So, that's what I'm having. So, I'm going to start with this back bit here. Oh, not like that. I want them upright. Where's my axe? Let me get my axe out. There we go. So, I'm just going to put those on top there. Uh, and then down the front, I want to bring this out into the pond uh, at different levels. Let's see. Uh, another one there. Uh, around there. I don't want a lot of holes that the flamingos can get stuck in, so... Oh, no, I don't want that there either. Let me just put that... That's better. Let me just put that in. Um, put that a bit further up so that it's it looks a bit layered. And that one probably there, another one there. That's not bad, not bad. I think I'll have another bit there. and Maybe a laid down one here? Where shall I put that? Let me just see there. There, that'll go there. Another one in there. Let me just, yep, yeah, put that one that way. Then another one there. And maybe another one here. Okay, I quite like that. A lot of levels to that. Okay, now I want to make some of the um, logs where there's no end bit, the inside of it showing. Right. Uh, have a few more of it. There we go. Now then, uh, I don't want it too high though because it's going to have a glass ceiling as this so our flamingos don't fly away. So let's come out here a bit and one on the side there. I think that's probably as high as I want to go. That. Yeah, I'll come out this side now for a bit, I think. There we go, a bit out to the side. That 
that's it. A bit more just out here, I think. Let's have a look at that. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all, actually. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to see if the leaves will fit on the side. They can't go over because there's going to be glass up the sides as well. Uh, no, I think that was better out, actually. Let me check that out. There we go. Right. Do I need to put any more anywhere else? Just have a look around there. Shall I bring it out a little bit more there? I think we need to get some branches on now to give it some structure. And I like seeing the branches through the leaves as well, so... There we go. Right. Okay. We need some leaves now. I'm going to use the rainbow eucalyptus leaves as well. I quite like the way you can see the branches through these. So... And I've just, I'm just going to do these as I've done them before. Bring this round here. And that one. Oh. Oh no, can't put that there. That's going to have to come off because the glass is going to go there. So that's going to have to come back quite a bit actually for me to fit some leaves on that outside. Let me just take that off. Where's me? Uh... There she is. Oh, they're nearly dead. Have a look. Yeah, I, I like the way it's going though, but uh, this can't go out here. Let's have a look. Uh, take this off. And I need to take that bit of trunk off as well. There we go. And that can't be there because it's not attached to anything now. Oh, I'm stuffed full of stuff put some of these away. I don't need these anymore. There we go. Right, I'll pick them up now. Right, so yeah, I need some more fences. And let's have that there, I think. That'll do. And that's not attached to anything, so that needs to go as well. There we go. I'll just put that there instead. finish the leafage so that should fit nicely there I think and it should give it a nice shape on this outside because oh, if I can fit it on there that comes out just right there I think yep yeah, that fits there too uh, that one doesn't though that's gonna have to come off and we'll just have that going straight down there I'll do that right to the bottom, I think. There we go. And that can have some leafage in. Okay, let's have a look. We'll carry on around this side as well. Just need to top this off now so that no mobs spawn on it and no flamingos get stuck in it. So let me just carry on with this, finish this off. And then I've got to make sure that all these branches have leaves on the end of them there we go and some more around here I think under there and that one there and if there's a lot of spaces I'm going to fill them with leaves there we go yeah I'm quite liking what that looks like I think I mean it's a short dumpy tree really and there's only going to be one block deep water so yeah I quite like that right let's get some water in shouldn't be too taxing to do because it's only one deep nearly done oops can I get to it yeah there we go there we go oh it's filling up look it's all gone quiet and this last one over here Yep, that got it. There we go. Gosh, it makes it look so different when you add some blue, doesn't it? When you 
when you've added the water. That is looking gorgeous. Let's have a look. Oh no! What's happened there? Oh, that's the dacite. The podzol's come off it. Oh, I didn't know that would happen. Oh dear. Well, that's what you get for trying to take a shortcut. I should have gone for some podzol. Oh dear. I'll have to dig them out. I don't like those at all in there. And I'll have to go for some podzol at some stage. Deary me. I think there might be some more dacite in there. It keeps losing its top, so they don't all do it at the same time. But I like that. I like that tree. It's a bit lopsided, but I like it like that. Now, this is where I'm going to have the stairs going up there to get to the upper level. But I haven't quite decided on how I'm going to do that yet. So I think what I'll do first is... Let me just get these off here. I think I'll put the glass around this so that I can see... I can see where it's going to go. Now I'm going to need tons of glass for this build. Uh, not just for going around here, but for all the exhibits upstairs as well. So, Right, that's as much glass as I've got, so I can't go much further. So I think I might have a go at this staircase back here. I've chosen to do it in quartz because I have got stairs and I've got slabs. Um, and I definitely need stairs. I need some access up there actually. I think I might put some access out here. Just a, a little sort of thing going up somewhere. Let's see. Um, probably just off, to, just off to the side here I think. Let's go a bit further over I think. Uh, over here? Let's try here. There, that's as far as I can go. Let's go up a bunch of hull. There we go. Then we'll have another couple of these. There we go. Oops. Nice. There we go. Okay. And we'll be able to look down on the flamingos and see what they're getting up to. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to have to be a little bit shorter actually because if the stairs come up here I think I'd like a sort of a central I think I'll have stairs coming up both sides to a central sort of platform here if I can do that but that means that might have to go back a bit but I don't think that's going to be a problem really I think we've got enough room let's try there uh, need some more of this off. I think I have to do this from down there, don't I, really? Let's put these on here and then we'll go downstairs, I think. The same on this side. Uh, a couple of stairs there. There we go. Let's take these off as well because this, I think when the stairs come up here, I'm going to have to push this border back a little bit. I don't think that's going to be a problem though. Let's just take this off. And I think we need some more blocks on this side because we'll need to have railings for safety, really. Because if I didn't, people would be falling off, wouldn't they? Right, so... Uh, hmm. Let me think. Let me get down here. Do it from here. Right. Let's see how far out a staircase comes if we start it from up there then. There we go, all the way down. Oh, have I got room for it? Have I got room? Yeah, I think I'm going to make it. There we go. Right, and if we have stairs there, then it's up there and round here. That's not too bad. Right, have I done that the same as the first side? Let me just check. Yeah, that looks that looks right. Uh, yeah, I think that looks right. right I'm taking these blocks off because I don't want this staircase to be too chunky. And I'm just going to put upside down stairs under it. 
I think it'll look a lot better like that. Uh, should those be on or off? Oh no, th those should be those should be blocks under there. I think. Let me get those. I think I might have that shorter actually. That might work. And I was going to put them down there, but I don't think I will now. I quite like what I did in the first instance, and that is putting stairs along there. Yeah, I like that better. Not sure what I'm going to do for a barrier on each side yet, but I'll think about that a little bit later. So, there we go. Up there. Oh, need some more. Right, that's done as far as I want to do it at the moment. I might have some other ideas for the outside of it and the border to stop people from falling down. But uh, I want to try and get this bottom bit uh, sort of... I, I want the walls in so that it's a bit safer <laughs> from things that keep spawning. Um, so let me just... Um, I need to move this border up here because I'd like it on the outside of here rather than just stopping there. I think it has to go around the outside of these stairs that I've just put in. So I'm going to move those down there. I think that'll look a lot better. Although the, not a lot of this body will be seen up here, if any at all, actually, this bit. Oops, it is, eh? I need some more of those as well. Let me just pick these up. Go! Oh. Ugh! I thought I'd lit up down there. Obviously, not enough. Get out! Dear me, creepers be creeping. Good grief. Let me put some more torches down here. Now then, I'm bringing this glass right up to this edge here because this is going to have glass all over it. So you'll be able to walk over this and look at the flamingos and see what they're up to down there. I think that'd be pretty cool, really. Lots more sand to go in the furnaces and I need to collect a lot more as well. Let's have a look. Let's get these all in here. Yeah go oh oh for goodness sake I'll ignore them see if they go away oh no they're inside they're inside oh well I'm forced to deal with them I need to get out to get some milk oh they're inside they're upstairs up oh, my new stairs they are oh holy critters Right, let's get on here so I can get some milk out. Right, where are they then? Uh, they're on that side. Whoops, it is there. Oh, one's there. <laughs> get out of the way. You horrid thing, get out! Now they're all bouncing up and down in the water. Ha ha ha! That'll slow them down a bit. Oh, there's one right there. Get out. 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 Ooh. Oh, I need to drink the milk. There we go. And you, you horrid thing, get out. Oh, dear me today. Every two minutes. Right, let's get back up there. Oh, it's creeper. <laughs> oh, they do make me jump. <laughs> get out, you horrid critter. Oh, dear, you've got to have eyes in the back of your head on this server, honestly. Right. Now then. 
I think I might go with blue. I think. Let's have a look. Here it is down there. Let's have a look now. But what sort? I think I like a central panel, which I think I'll go with this one. There we go. We'll just try that. And then maybe these? Let's try a few of those. And these look like leaded windows, these do. Okay, let's have a look at that. Right. Uh, oh. Maybe this one. I think. Oh, it's straight up there. And I've done it. I wonder if I can pull those in to make that straight. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I'd like a full panel of these in. For a sort of like a statement effect. Let's uh, just move those in and see what it looks like. Hopefully it will look okay. And we'll have uh, this one in the centre. Oh, we're not going to see much with just one hour. Let me just uh, put this all the way up. Can I get that on there? There we go. And then up there. Oh, that doesn't connect because it's um, because it's a slab. But let me just put these on and then we can see what those look like. I need a bit more on there, don't I? Because it, it's not a full pane. Yeah, okay. Let's put some down this side. So I'm thinking that that would go down the middle and then we'd have either those or we could have... Um, let me just bring these others down. We could have... Let me take that one off. Oops. There we go. We could have this on instead. Let me just have a look at that. Could I put some more under there? Can? There. Hmm. That to me looks like there's too much of it. I quite like this one on this side. Will that, um, will that move down with this? Will that make a big pane? Or will it have those borders on it all the way down? Oh, it does. Oh, I quite like that one, actually. There we go. Yeah, I like that quite a lot. I think that's going to be the main window. Oh, it's dark. Need to uh, sleep. Now then, let's have a look from the outside. That looks really nice. But I'm going to have to take those off, aren't I? and uh, take the glass right up to the top and that board is gonna have to move as well isn't it i can't have it there yeah i really need that border to go along where those slabs were i think yeah i think i need to do that let me have a look from upstairs uh, it's on this side, isn't it, I'm working on? Uh, well, this is going to be covered anyway, so you're not going to see the border in the exhibits from up there. So, yeah, so I can take that down and replace it with the border under over the glass. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that's where it's supposed to be, isn't it? Okay, I've got to do that all the way around the outside then. But that's going to be trickier on these on either side because they're not a straight line. So I'll have to work out what I'm going to do there, I think. Right. I've got to connect these up so that when I put the glass on top, there's no overhanging glass. I can't have that. So I'm going to try and do this the same as the top there. There we go. I think that's it. I think that will do to do that on this side as well so that'll go like that right let's see how this will go okay all right that's not going to be a big panel is it so just get these off and take the glass right up to the ceiling there we go let's have a look yeah, I quite like that, actually. Yeah, I was intending that to be a big panel, but I think that's turned out quite nice. That was a happy little accident, I think. 
Yeah, I really like those. I'm happy with those. Nice. Let's have a look from out here. Oh yeah, I like that. Now I'm getting a bit of a a vibe here that this this Celtic block should come out of there and those should be all pillars because I'm feeling that there's too much of this border everywhere and it's taking away from the border, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these into pillars. See what that looks like. There we go. Uh, let me just have a look at that. Let's get over here. See what that looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to do that. Right, let's get them all done then. Right, so that's done. That's taken me ages. I really need to get back to this flamingo exhibit now. Right, I at last went out and got some proper podzel. Got to have some gravel for all the reeds that I'm going to put in. So I'll scatter this mostly around the edge. And I'm going to put some seagrass in because I like the movement of the seagrass, especially in shallow water. So let's get some reeds in and put a few in the middle as well. These are the ones that look a bit windswept. I'll have some reeds. I haven't got many of these. I've only got a couple. Really need to collect some more. And then, of course, we're going to have lots of cattails around the edges. And this kelp moves in a little bit of a different way to the seagrass, so it just adds to it. Right, let's get some lily pads in. We'll just sprinkle these about. Let's have a look over there. And we want some water hyacinths. Oh, come on up and get a flower. Can I have a flower? Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm going to put some podzel that stands just above the water as well. Because I'd like to put some bromelades on. And I'd also like somewhere for the flamingos to stand. If they stand out of water. Okay, I quite like the way this is looking. So now I want to put some bromelades on. Let's have a look. Just put one or two on. One on there. And over here. Yeah. And I also have brought some mushrooms. Because I found out recently that I can put them on wood. And I didn't know that. Did I know that? I don't think I knew that. Anyway, they're there. Right, let's stand back and have a look. Oh, I quite like that. Right, I am going to be texturing out here on the ground. I'm not quite sure what to do with it at the moment. Whether I should check texture it like outside or use something very different. Like stone or something. I'm not quite sure. And I'm not quite sure what to do under there either. Whether to have, you know, just a, a green display of something or some seating. But mind you, you can't look at anything down there, can you? But uh, yeah, I'll have to think about that. And I'll have to think about this. But let's get these flamingos in. Now, I managed to get one of each variant. Right, we'll start off with the Jameses. There we go. That's the Jameses flamingo. And then we've got the Andean. Nice. And then we've got the American. And the lesser. The greater. Last but not least, the Chilean. There we go. Now, I had thought about putting some nesting piles in here, which I had in my first flamingo exhibit, but this is just too small for that, so they'll not be nesting. <laughs> 
but less is more. I really like this one. I really like that. Oh, that one's going up. That one's going up. Oh, I can see some missing leaves up there. Look. Look at that. I'll have to get those in. Right. I'm just going to call this simply the birdhouse. There we go. That's what that was for. If you wondered what that was hanging down there for. Oh, look at this. They're very animated. I love that. They're getting all over the place. And they sound very happy to me. And when you come up the stairs, you need to have some safety. So I'm going to put some fences on here. And I've chosen these steel fences. Um, I think I need this to go all the way around here. And I'm not sure if... The, well... I hadn't intended for you to see the stone, so this is probably going to change this stone bit here. But I'm not quite sure how it's going to end up yet. So I'm just going to put the fencing on anyway to show you how the fencing is going to go. Let me just move this somewhere else and bring this all the way around here. And I'm going to leave both sides open so that you can come up the stairs and go onto the glass or around the other side to look at all the exhibits. So... Yeah, look at that. I'm right chuffed with that. That's that's come together better than I thought it would, actually. A lot of little bits I had to change, but change for the better, I think. Nice. Yeah. So that's it for this episode. The Flamingo exhibit, the first of in the birdhouse, is all done. And I love it. Wow, look at them. They're, they're getting all over the place in there. Nice. Oh, and I can see lots of red dots on the map. Uh, they're over there. Have we got some more visitors? I think we have. Yes, they're just disappearing over there. So I'm going to scoot off before they see me and come over here. So take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>